Hey guys, uh, I'm going to uh, explain uh, how to reset your uh, keyring password. Usually this password uh, is asking because you are logging in without, uh, you know, I mean, you are logging in using auto, auto login. Okay, maybe that user has been uh, enabled in Ubuntu user uh, panel. So that's why this is asking that secondary uh, setting, I mean, settings, password, something like that. Okay, so uh, it's usually, it's, it's, it's usually uh, uh, make sure that, uh, it's usually make, make sure that uh, the browser, you know, usually uh, we, we are, we are uh, saving all the uh, passwords in browsers, right? So it will do the safeguard uh, for that password because, you know, if it is a auto login, so when that user is going to click on, uh, I mean, uh, power on that system, automatically it will go in inside. So the people uh, who can uh, easily, <coughs> the people, uh, you know, who can easily uh, get the password from your browser. So to restrict that particular password, it is asking that keyring actually. Okay. So just here you can see. Sometimes, uh, you know, uh, default, by default, uh, that username, uh, the password of the username, I mean, the user is, will be the same uh, to this uh, keyring, okay. Sometimes we will forget that password and or we have changed that password uh, in middle of that and we forgot our uh, keyring actually, okay. So just uh, uh, we will reset that keyring without any problem, you can see now, okay. If I'm going to click on that uh, uh, Google Chrome, it will ask a keyring password. Okay, so I forgot that particular keyring. But if I forgot that particular keyring password, what you can do? That is, you can so they cancel that. You can go to or you can search. Okay, so I'm sure that you uh, we don't know that. I know uh, if if you forget that uh, keyring password, uh, keyring you can search their keyring. Here you cannot change their password because you you already forgot that previous password that's why that you cannot change that password here actually so you should give that password then only you can change the keyring password okay so of course if you have forgot your password so what you can do is very simple is go to your home folder okay you can see there is a folder name called Okay, here we can see share folder. Yeah, in local folder, there is a folder name called share. Okay, inside the share, you can see the keyrings. Okay, so login keyring is here. Okay, people keyring. So you can delete that particular file here. Okay, you can delete this particular file from here. Then, if you are trying to open it again so it will, uh, it will ask actually okay so it is it's not asking that so you can say you can go to delete all the files from this particular folder that's it nothing else so next time it will automatically create that okay so I'm going to be close and I'm going to open it again so it will ask the password again okay so here you can change your password okay i'm going to give that to you so you can give a new password for this that's it so it's not difficult to change your password or if you forget the keyring password it's very simple go to home sometimes this folder uh, you know these folders are dot folder actually dot files are, okay so it may may not show because it's a hidden file so you can use like a control h okay you can use a control h to show that your hidden files and all okay or you can click on this particular options here okay so if you click on this option you can go to there is a folder name called local and there is a folder name called share and there is a file uh, i mean there's a folder name called uh, this one this is that's it this is a new keyring file so automatically it will take in that thing that's it it's very simple it will work without any problem next time you can if you want to change that password or you can change it here so i can change the password if suppose if i know the password if i want to change the password here i can click on this i can unlock it 
so it is already there okay now we can delete our simple okay we can take we can delete and we can create a new password from here that's it okay so here you can see change password so existing password is i'm going to give like a 123 and 1234 and 1234 okay continue that's it so i'm going to change the password to 123 123 sorry 1234 to verify it to 123 123 i'm going to give that then that's it simple okay thank you